Welcome back! In this lecture we are going to define what are the actions that should be part of our demo version of the project, of the project deliverables. Why is it important to have a demo version? Why I insist to start with that as the first phase of our project delivery? It's because we can use it for different things. We can use it to, for sales, because if you have like a prototype of the solution of our final deliverable, then we can pitch investors, we can show it to a client, we can identify exactly what are the requirements in case we still need to clarify a lot of things, or we can have the team to have a better understanding about what the project will deliver in the end. Then, how do we actually select the demo version? The question that is going to guide you to do that is what are the minimum actions that I need to define, that I need to do in order to have a prototype of my final solution? And prototype, it has to be really, really a small piece of work that we can show and showcase later on. Remember this word, minimum. We don't want to build the entire solution at the beginning. That's why we have a full project. We only want to do a small piece of it for demo purposes. So in my situation for the mobile application, what I'm doing, I'm taking, I'm looking through all the actions and I'm selecting what I want to be part of this demo. And on the column next to it, I will add the word demo. And I will keep on going till the end. Now, take your time and do the same. Take five minutes just to set what is part of your demo version. But remember, you have to have in mind that you do the minimum actions that are needed to produce a demo version, a prototype version. See you later. Now, this part may be a bit difficult on how do you separate what is demo, what is uh, what is not a demo. You have to think about the demo, what is the minimum things that I have to do that I can sell my project. In my situation you will see that I want to have an application with an account then I have to show to my audience that I'm able to, to see the timetable of the buses and to display the route. A very simple search. And if you are in the situation in which you have to prepare a class about apples to your kids um, and you want it to be a series of workshops and you want to have this class delivered to the entire school which are about 10 different classes, 10 different groups of children then at the beginning you have this idea of surrounding the kids with apples for an hour and they to be so excited that they will want to, I don't know plant new trees in the garden of the school and you really want it to be like a big thing or and then since it's an innovative idea then you want it to try it out on a very small group or you want you, you want to introduce this new concept of classes to the to the, the school management and you say look this year I want to show to the kids how easy, how accessible is the nature. And I will start with a class about apples. And my concept is about showing them what's an apple, how to plant the apple, how the apple grows, everything that is surrounded in the, uh, in the process of having an apple from the seed, making it a tree pick the, the fruit and, uh, improve, and have it available for the kids lunch, to have it as a snack. And, but for that, I really want to simulate it in a very simple way so the kids can understand all these concepts. I don't want to come in a class and tell them, well, there is um, pollinization and there is 
a process where there are the flowers in bloom then you know it's too complicated they're not going to understand it so in order to sell this to sell this idea that you have you are going to go to the school management and say look i have this class this is my class plan you can go with the class plan and i will be showing the the students these trees this will be the process so you will have few materials you'll have and these few materials you already have this information listed down you have the action and now you will identify them and you write the word demo like class outline you can in this, in the line where you have class out, outline you put the word demo then you go on um, exercises create exercises then you write the word demo on that line then you have write the exercises you write the, and then you will associate the word demo and you will have uh, evaluation cri evaluation criteria for these exercises you write and then you write the word demo so then if you have another kind of project if you are studying for an exam you want to know if you are really prepared for that you may want to have a preview of that exam so that means that you will start with the first chapter and you will have the first chapter you will study the first chapter you are going to run the simulation for the exam from the materials just from the first chapter and then you will you will know you'll pass through all the process and you will know what exactly is required, how you can prepare better for that exam for the further chapters.